So first of all, you need to have Python installed on your system. You also need to generate a Django application and be able to do that by yourself. And we're going to be using a library called Django Deraja. So I'll leave this down in the description. It is also, I forked it on my Python uh, repository. So you can go ahead and check this out as well. The full code for the tutorial will be available right here on my GitHub repository. So absolutely go there as well and, you know, star, follow, whatever you can do. And absolutely, before we even go further, something people really overlook and it really, really helps me out and the channel is hitting that little red subscribe button. So if you haven't done that, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and I appreciate it. Now let's get straight to it. So next, you're also going to need a developer's account at the Raja. So just get this set up. This is where we'll be getting the credentials to use in this particular tutorial. So with that out of the way, let's just get straight and get started. So let me just open up a terminal. So I'm just going to use git bash. You can use whichever terminal you have. It will work just as well. And let me just uh, increase this for your viewing experience. And just like that, this should work out pretty well for you. So let me just increase this as well. Hope you can see that. So what you want to do is to first run pip install Django Daraja, which is the actual library. So pip install Django underscore Daraja. I'm not going to run this because I already have this satisfied in my PC. This requirement is already installed. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Toot for tutorial. And I'm just going to CD into that folder. Okay, then from here, the basic process of creating a Django project. So Django, Django admin, start project. my underscore sites. Sorry, 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 sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, so once that runs, you also want to CD into this particular folder. So that is CD into my, my sites. And at this point, you also want to run Django. Let me just reuse that command. Start up my underscore app. Okay, so once that runs successfully, I want you to go into your Safaricom developer account like this. And go ahead and just pick one of your applications. So I'm just going to pick one of my old apps, Daraja. Okay, you can just leave this as it is. And then just hit on this test credentials button so that you can have all these credentials ready to go. So what I'm going to do here, I don't want to really uh, type this out. So I'm just going to navigate into my site settings.py because we also have to give python some of these uh, credentials so just head into settings.py and um, i don't need everything i only need i only need this section okay right here from this line line 118 Just like that. So that's all I need. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up in my favorite text editor, which is VS Code, the best text editor out there, but that is subject to discussion, you guys. So I'm just going to navigate to my site. And I'm going to go into settings.py. 
yeah so just like that so basically you're just giving uh django all the credentials you're going to be using for this specifying the environment the consumer key consumer secrets which of course you can find in your developers dashboard right there for the short code this would be uh the lipa na mpsa teal or baby but for now because we are in sandbox just keep it as it is the pass key the pass key is right here it is generated as part of your test credentials so just go ahead and grab yours right here no need to use mine it's absolutely free to create this okay so for the mpsa initiator security credentials and the username they're all available right there so the next thing we want to do is to configure our urls which we will do from my site urls.py so in the urls.py we want to do url configuration which is basically you know yeah it's a, it's just creating a python module which will do mapping between url path expressions to your python functions which is your views in short it's just um to match the requested url to your views yeah so yeah, let's just get rid of everything in here asap then what you want to do is you want to import uh, some of this so from django import path and include And let me just copy this. Then from Django, also imports admin. Okay, we're pretty much done for that. So let's now do the URL patterns. So URL patterns you can see i also have that autocomplete doing some magic for me right there so you want to also okay yeah that that is that's actually accurate and also the path Oop, that is not an accurate auto completion so let's just do this that. include Okay, yeah. yeah. So you're pretty much done for the URL configuration for my site, my underscore site. So let's just navigate to the application. So my underscore app. And this is the where you don't get any URLs to spy. So you have to create URLs dot spy. Okay, so once you have created URLs dot spy, you also have to do the imports like we did before. So from Django dot URLs import path input then from period imports views yeah from you guys i also import views so make sure to view this until the end of the video so url patterns url patterns complete doing the magic thing right there so path okay is that really an accurate uh prediction yeah it is so path slash sdk push use stk push name nope this is not an accurate prediction so once again from scratch from scratch allow it man allow it view 
views. Let's SDK let's go push and let's go call back comma yeah so that's that's actually accurate and go ahead and close that yeah Yeah, so we are pretty much done with your real configuration so let's swiftly move on let us swiftly move on to the next step we need to also add to the installed apps Django Daraja so yeah so to the installed apps go ahead and add Django Daraja and my application so my underscore okay so we are done with that so moving on next we have to create a view so navigate to my app so just head over navigate to my app and get head into um my app views dot pi get seed of everything and then from dango from shortcuts import render and then from django you also want to import the http response bodies so basically to be able to make http requests to the server then the next import you want to do is from django and go the raja that's mpesa okay yeah for suggestion doing this thing import the mpesa client so what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to head over back to my browser. And then I'm just going to head over to the root of my project, the project's root. Then into the application. And within the application, I want to head over to the views.py. okay then I, I just want to get this function right here i'm going to explain it to you in a bit so don't worry about that so just like that and voila so basically we're just calling the mpesa clients and we have keying in the information that you want because the phone number you have to key in the phone number that will be used for the sdk push the amount let's just i just said this to one account reference i just left this as reference description put in anything you would you wish and you have to provide a callback url that will receive the data uh, from this sdk push and then after that all you have to do is i have returned the response so this will be able to print back to the browser uh what exactly uh is it if it either the SDK push has been successful or we have an error. So the next step we want to do right, is to run the migrations so that we can add all the models that have been created by the Django Daraja library. So I'm going to pop up my terminal right here. You shall provide to the right. So let me just do that. Okay. So let me just change this to the git bash okay so the command you want to run at this particular terminal is python manage.py 
migrate so let's do that python manage.py migrate and hit on enter so this is gonna take no module named Django Daraj. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Django dot URLs. That's where you import us. So okay. Let's make sure there aren't any errors. So let me just head back to also to my app urls.py just make sure there aren't any errors yeah i think we are pretty much done with debugging so let's try that out one more time so let's just do that again and cross your fingers let's hope we don't get run into another error okay so yeah it's applying the migrations okay okay no errors so far so good yeah boom so let's try running this so let's try running this okay python manage your pi run server success so let's over head over to our browser and access this so this is localhost 8000 so localhost 8000 and like that success we have an SDK push right there so yeah I already have this pop-up on my phone let me just show it boom so yeah that's it guys thank you for watching this tutorial thank you for having me be sure to absolutely hit that subscribe button and watch this video right over here